So we all know that Mitch is famous because of playing hockey, not because he's an entrepreneur. But while he wasn't really putting Steve Jobs to shame, he did have a small business at his own high school, Blythe Academy, where he and his teammates Christian Dvorak and Owen McDonald started a business, a cafe, which was called MOD Feast Mod, which stands for Mitch, Owen, and Devo. We served bagels and stuff. We had regulars and we knew their order, Marner says. On Friday, we'd have pizza day. That was big. Even the best hockey player in the world, Sidney Crosby, didn't know that he would be good enough for the NHL until the age of 13. Mitch Marner, on the other hand, knew that he would be good enough for the NHL at age four. When asked what age he knew he might be good enough to make a career of hockey, Marner said, about four. Much to our surprise, he was right. After being drafted fourth overall in 2015, he had a definite premonition. Okay, so while you might have heard about the impromptu Matthews Marner bench duet that involved singing to John Bon Jovi's song Living on a Prayer, you may have not known that Mitch Marner is actually a huge Bon Jovi fan. It was pretty obvious who was doing most of the singing on the bench. While Matthews was just crooning along, Mitch Marner went full karaoke star. And when questioned after the game, Matthews admits that Marner is a huge Bon Jovi fan. But what may have been even more satisfying for Marner than the impromptu attention afterwards was the post from John Bon Jovi himself. Even though Marner wasn't even born when he produced the song, which came out in 1986, with Marner being born in 1997, obviously he can have some appreciation for the song. And John Bon Jovi obviously gave him the thumbs up, saying he wasn't bad, he approves. Maybe a music career is in the future for Marner after all. Mitch Marner actually scored his first NHL goal in front of his hometown crowd, which included his parents, Bonnie and Paul. At least, that was the expectation. The only problem was, the Maple Leafs forward's mother was in the bathroom and missed the whole thing. After Marner scored at 11.56 of the first period, TV cameras then focused on his parents' seats, but only his dad was there. I was washing my hands and I heard all the celebration, and then I heard 16, and then I go, oh my gosh, that's Mitch. Bonnie Marner told Sportsnet during the game. So I ran over to the entrance and I'm like, who got the goal? And they said, Marner. And I go, I'm his mom. And they go, no, you're not. And I go, I am. And I showed him my phone and celebrated there with them. After the game, Mitchell saw the clip of his mom going back to her seat. That's awesome, he told Sportsnet. That's going to be something I can definitely talk to my mom about. His parents certainly had a good laugh after the whole thing. And with Marner's reputation as a goal scorer, Bonnie has certainly seen many other goals other than the first. <laughs>